I'm Don Elkins. This is your WBOC Early Morning Vidcast for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. Here's a quick look at what's happening. Well, take a look at this video from Chopper 16 showing rescue crews in Worcester County uh, trying to get that truck out of the water. They want to know exactly why it ended up in the Aston Woman Bay. Uh, that truck, again, being pulled from the water yesterday morning in West Ocean City. The pickup went into the drink at the OC Fishing Center. The driver got rescued and did not get hurt. A tow truck had to yank that submerged vehicle out of the water again in Worcester County. Well, some water customers may have to pay more in Sussex County. Tidewater Environmental Services says it wants to increase its annual revenue by 90%. If that gets approved, the company says the average bill per customer could go up as much as $85. The request could affect customers in Milton and six other developments in Sussex County. Tidewater says the change is needed to cover rising costs and recent improvements. However, any increase in the bills has to be approved by Delaware's Public Service Commission. Road work in Sussex County may detour drivers near Gumbro next week. Del Dot says it'll close Millsboro Highway Monday between Lowe's Crossing Road and Laurel Road. Crews will replace a crossroad pipe there and will post detours. People living along the road will still have access, and the road itself should reopen to general traffic September 3rd in Sussex County. That's all for us. Thanks for joining us online, and have a great Tuesday.